Hi, I'm Marcel from Pro Digital, and in this tutorial video I will explain you how you can achieve faster firing sequences with your FCA field controller. So let's have a look to the setup here that I draw. We have a front, say a front in a firework show with 15 positions, 0, 1 to 0 F. And we now want to have one effect where all of them are shot at the same time. So they would be programmed like shooting 0, 1, 0 up to 0, F, 0. All clamp zeros of them at the same time. So the way that the old FC3 would execute them when they would all be hooked up together to one network would be it would first shot the 0, 1 and then the next it will shoot the 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5. Of course, always the respective clamp zero and all the way down. So this is the way the commands will get executed or transmitted over the PD network cable. The transmission of one of those commands takes 10 milliseconds. So from here to here So from here to here, this is 10 milliseconds. So in total, we finish here. We will end up at 150 milliseconds. So unfortunately, we shoot them or address them all at the same time, but you will see a delay from the first to the last one of 150 milliseconds and you will get this um, shape. Yeah, they will not look like they would get even, uh, evenly out. You will have this, um, this slope here. And the new field controller now can help that. It actually allows you to split this network to five sub -net networks. Uh, sub five sub networks. So we hook up three of them, of the modules, one, two, three, zero, zero, four, zero, five, zero, six, zero, seven, zero, eight, zero, nine, and so on. What's wrong here? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I seems like I missed out one here. No problem. So this one here gets additionally in. Never mind. So we end up here at 150 milliseconds. Sorry for that. So also these five get hooked, uh, three get hooked up together. So now we're connecting this here to our output one, out two, out three, out four, and out five of our field controller. Okay, but what's the benefit now? The difference is that the output number one only has to serve the addresses 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And for instance, the output number four only has to serve 0, A, 0, B, and 0, C. So each of the outputs only has to serve three modules and not 15 modules anymore. So if the field controller knows which of those modules are actually connected, it can uh, save time by not sending commands to uh, modules that are not connected. So the output number one only has to send out to 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. And output number two only has to send out to 0, 4, 0, 5, and 0, 6. And of course, this goes on. This is true for all the rest of them. So. If we look to this, at the end, the total time to execute this queue now, when it's split it to five outputs, the whole time we need it here is 30 milliseconds. So this is by a factor of five faster. And actually, 30 milliseconds is not so much. Um, one frame in Power Digital is a third of a second. So roughly 33 milliseconds, and that's obviously a little 
fewer than 30 milliseconds. So all these 15 positions, they get shot in within only one frame. So you will not see any, any, any slope here anymore. They will all go out evenly for your eye. Yeah, so in the next video, I will show you how actually this difference looks like if we shoot it on our test bench with 15 modules. So hope to see you in the next video as well. Don't miss the demonstration. Bye.